Welcome to Tables. Three count. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Tables. Lists. And chairs. Welcome back to another episode of TLC here on Wrestle Talk. If it's your first time here at TLC, each of us have made a top 10 list about a certain category, which we're going to go through together. And we're going to point and laugh and mock at the bed to bed. Point and laugh and mock Pete. Uh, we've got a special guest on this show. It's Ace Trainer Liam. Hey, it's Luke Owen. Luke hey. Owen is also here. Yeah, but mainly Ace Trainer Liam. I'm hey. here. Don't worry. I don't know why either. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, want to come around and play. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. why not? Why not? Uh, so today, as promised last week, we are going to be doing the 10 worst Survivor Series matches of all time. I didn't realize that Survivor Series, when it started, was just like, oh, no, we'll have all elimination matches all night. Mm. Yeah. Wild. And it's a bit much. The wrestling yeah. doesn't hold up because standards <laughs> no. have changed. Exactly. So like, I, I have not got a lot of... I have got some early doors because some of them are just bad. That was yeah. such an era for work rate. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Zeus, man. <laughs> Let's start with number 10, shall well, we? Pete, we've got a new way of playing the game today as well. I was going to explain that at the end. Fair enough. Three, two, one. Oh. Baron Corbin versus the... Wait. Oh, me! Oh, 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 I went for a high five and you denied me and I feel silly. You know, that's that's fair. Yeah. I understand. I Can I say, right? Go, go for it. Whenever people talk about this match, when have you ever heard someone go, what a match? <laughs> Such a great match. Everyone goes, oh my God, the screw job. He spat on Vince mm -hmm. and he went WCW. Yeah. Wow. Can we talk about anything else when we talk about this match? Mm -hmm. No one yeah. cares that this match exists. It just, it's just the screw job. It's not their best, is it, really? No. Mm -hmm. I also think their Iron Man match isn't very good. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Full of controversial opinions today. But like, I, the, I think it's bad. Tell us about Baron and Corbin and The Miz. Baron Corbin versus The Miz, everybody. Was that I champion versus champion? <laughs> it sure was. That was, <laughs> that was US versus IC champ in oh, no. 2017. I didn't know this match existed. I completely forgot. I erased it from my mind. And I was going through the list. I was going back through Survivor Series pay-per-views, trying to see what other matches there were. And I came across this and I was like, surely not. Oh. That's not a match. And I went and watched it. And it's terrible. And this wasn't babyface Miz era, was it? This it was, was, this this was, was heel and heel. Heel versus heel. Of all. All the heel versus the heel is, to have. The thing is, heel versus heel matches can work in some circumstances. Both of them worked heel in the match. Uh, what do you what do you want from me? Baron Corbin's chatting down Maurice in the crowd and being like, oh yeah, I'm gonna beat up your husband and all that stuff. And then the Miztourage come in and get the advantage back. So it's like, so what who am I cheering for in uh, this match? The Miztourage. Oh my god. It is it's as bad as you'd think, and then it just ends. Pete, oh. I keep getting told the 2016, 2018 <laughs> era of of IC title Miz. Oh, it's underrated, it's underrated <laughs> bud. <laughs> it's terrible. Three, two, one. Boom. Ooh. Team oh. 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 Really? Oh. 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 Oh, that's Ooh. a good pick, Pete. Ooh. 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 Lots of interesting noises. Yeah. Um, so for me, this one's very personal because... I love the awesome truth. Oh, they were all right, weren't they? I really <laughs> loved the awesome truth, okay? No, I, you didn't. I did, though, Luke. When they came out rapping at Survivor Series. <laughs> loved it. Um, <laughs> at that Survivor Series. Yeah, at that Survivor <laughs> Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I liked the storyline they were in. I thought that it was intriguing, and it was different because I was new to... I'd only just got back into wrestling, okay? The Rock and Cena stuff I was really into. I was really into the year-long build that they'd done. Although this was a really nice milestone in that year to be like, we're still going in this direction. Just a reminder, this is where we're heading. And I thought like, Rock and is going to implode. It's going to build to Can more they coexist? Can they coexist? Yeah. Probably not. You know, they're going to have a match later. And the Awesome Truth are going to pick up a huge win over Rock and Cena. And then they just won. And then Rock hit a rock bomb. And that was it. What the f*** did you think was going to happen? The awesome truth were gonna win and Rock and Cena were gonna implode. I just explained right, it, Luke. Right, right, but who was gonna take the pin in that match? The Rock or Cena? Cena! Because Rock was gonna turn on him and I, Cena was gonna be too trusting and Rock was I gonna rock bottom him like he did. The only way the awesome truth could have win was by like count out. Yeah, well, whatever. Like, I'll, I'll be quick here. This is just bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know who's in it, but already I'm like, this, from this that is, year. This yeah. is the one. All right, well, we didn't know what we were doing in the pandemic. We, we just didn't, as, as we've established on this show we many just, a time. We just didn't know what we were doing. And apparently what we were doing was Lana yep. wins this match. Oh, it's that one. I love that one. Nothing. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> She just stands on the outside and she wins the match because Bianca Belair gets counted out. Yeah. And Nia Jax gets counted out. Lana wins. Lol. F 
cough. <laughs> oh. Rubbish. Okay, well, this one, mm -hmm. and I know a couple of people went, how can you hate uh -huh. Trish and Leah? Best women's rivalry mm -hmm. in WWE. You know, it's not mm -hmm. Gail Kim and Awesome Kong. Mm -hmm. This wasn't even a match. This was a scheduled women's title match, and it ended just being an angle. Couple of punches, couple of knockdowns. Trish is knocked over outside. A minute and a half later, Lita's DQ'd for hitting her with a chair. But the camera is framed in such a way that you can see that Trish doesn't get hit with the chair. <laughs> the timekeeper's desk, poor thing, takes a beating from two <laughs> chair shots. Yeah. And Trish is just like, oh no, is that wind? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then the somehow wind. her face is broken and I'm like, how? What's going on here? What happened there? But it's, it's garbage. For Trish and Lita, they deserved so much better. Three, two, one. <gasps> Miz versus Corbin. Oh, oh, Miz versus Corbin. Oh my God, I didn't know anyone else would have that on their list because I thought no one else knows it exists. <laughs> you Mate. said this in the office. But I was like, I've got to go and see this. <laughs> you are downplaying scenes. how bad this was. <laughs> this is really bad. It's so much worse. You were like, oh, I, was, I watched this match. It was what? It was really bad. It's yeah, so I'm bad. Like, I'm gonna go and watch it myself. It's so much worse than you made it out to be. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's so bad, terrible. I genuinely feel bad for The Miz and Corbin. <laughs> and they would have looked at the, like, the match card and gone, no, Vince. <laughs> no, not. come on, yeah. think about it. No, it's going to be great. It's going to be yeah. yeah. Rousey Flair. Now, this one might seem a little harsh because I think the match that they actually had was, was all right. It was good. I hated what it could have been. Like, I hated the potential of this, you know, with Becky's lightning in a bottle thing being injured right before it and going like, that's the man. Oh, damn. Here we are. She picks Charlotte for her replacement. The match ends in DQ. And then Vince is like, well, that's our WrestleMania main event. Here we go, everybody. Get on the Charlotte train, guys. Uh, in, and this was anticlimactic. In fairness, that was supposed to be the WrestleMania main event, which is yes. why it ends in DQ. It was never supposed to be Becky there, but you're right, the lightning in a bottle. Thing. Exactly. The lightning in a bottle, and they didn't capitalize. And granted, she was injured. You couldn't compete in the match. And this was the backup plan. I get it. I understand. But you got to adapt, and this what hello. There was another backup plan you could have done, which was Asuka, which, yeah. which is what the, the fans asked for on that yeah. SmackDown episode, because she's literally lining feels like, hey, Asuka, I could pick you the current, yeah! She goes, or I could pick Flair, boom! Still Charlie, asking for that today. Uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I, I, it had I, me at Charlotte and Ronda. Like, <laughs> that pairing, I'm always going to go, <sighs> Yeah. do I need to explain why Heidenreich match is bad? Heidenreich's in it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wow. Ooh. Oh, oh, Ooh. I mean, no. Ooh. I expected that to be higher, to oh, be honest. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, no, there's, there's worse. Okay. Spoiler alert, but coming soon to, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah, a yeah. whiteboard near you. Uh, uh, yeah, spoiler, same. Yeah. Uh, but a bit higher on my list, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll save it for, for then. Okay. But yeah. Uh, for this, this is Seamus' cash-in at Survivor Series right after Roman won the vacant belt with uh, Dean Ambrose and Well, you're such a mark picking a cash-in. Of course, it wasn't a good match. <laughs> 36 seconds. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. Uh, so my my reason for this is it's emblematic of a lot more. It was Dean Ambrose didn't win. Roman did. Boo. Mm. Sheamus immediately cashes in via Triple H interference corporation nonsense. Oh, Sheamus is the handmaid. Oh, we're doing the Daniel Bryan story again, but with someone we don't like and it's not Daniel Bryan. For God's sake. Oh, no. We're in for a bad time. But Pete, can you do a cry face that Roman did? Confetti. Bird's eye shot. Hands on the temple went. <laughs> uh, and we've got what, what did I pick again? Regal oh, yeah. versus Hardcore Holly. Right, listen, I love William Regal. I love Hardcore Holly. However, why did these two have such a bad match with nothing in it? It was like punch, punch, not really a technical masterclass. And then I'm pretty sure Hardcore Holly just goes, I'll just hit you with the European title. <laughs> Stuff you. End of. This should have been so much better. Three, two, one. Ka-chow. Ooh. 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 Oh, man. Ooh. These are oh. some interesting picks. I love Wade Barrett. We not, all do. Not after this one. John Cena was a special guest referee here, where he was going to be fired. Matt, Stry <laughs> Matt Stryker blows the call. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so then Randy Orton won, and then he got fired, and was immediately back in WWE anyway, so there was no consequences to it. I was going to say, can you put into words how long John Cena was fired for? It was approximately zero days, because he was back the incredible. week after. 
that's the call at the end of it where Matt Stryker goes, John Cena's free! And then oh. Michael Cole suddenly goes, no, John Cena's fired. No, 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 he, no he's fired. Goldberg Triple H. I, I feel like you could just look then, at those words in yeah, that year and right. be like, well, that speaks for yeah, fair. You may have noticed that I accidentally combined my two zeros into almost an infinity symbol. That's because that's how long this match lasts. It's a Goldberg and Triple H match. How? What, what business does Goldberg have being in a match this long, for starters? Like, he's had shorter matches at Survivor Series. They were great. Mm. They were fantastic. Not this. No, I just feel that you can look at those four words in that year and be like, cool, yep, that, that, that's why it's on that the list. That tracks. That tracks. Yeah. It's five yeah. words there. I suppose versus is a word. <laughs> versus, yeah. yeah. And, and that's and the problem oh, no, no, here, Liam, not the match. Because he was on twice. So oh. Like, oh! He's got you there. Oh, yeah. you know, I know what yeah. I've got home. By the way, it, it's it's not very good. Uh, and, really? And, any highlights in this no. one? No. Oh, wow. No. Okay. Just 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 not. Can you very tell us good. who the Total Divas were and the True Divas? Well, Total Divas was you know the, the cast of yeah. The, yeah, 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 and then it was like, and it's AJ Lee. Three, two, one. Oh, Baron Corbin in the Miz! Yeah! Oh my god! It's, it's on all it's three a, lists. It's a trifecta. Incredible. I love oh, it. Oh no! Ooh. I nearly you, wait. I, no, I nearly put that one on. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wasn't very good. Yep. Oh, it no. was. It's. It's not. It's Ronda not caring. Yep. It's Shotzi failing. Mm -hmm. It's f***ed up move after f***ed up move. Mm -hmm. And it's. It's just not very good. Hey, do you remember this match? Triple H, Kurt Angle that was in there, and you had Braun Strowman, and the whole thing. You had like former NXT champions, and all of them got eliminated first. Oh. And the whole thing was about Triple H playing both sides somehow and turned on Angle and also didn't. And then Braun Strowman choked him out afterwards to lead to a Braun Strowman versus Triple H match that never f***ing happened. Do you remember all of that? Where Triple H and Kurt Angle are the two feature performers in this 10-person match? It's not very good. Baron Corbin in The Miz, though. I know! <laughs> it made what, all three. what a stinker, right? <laughs> I've been waiting here so patiently. I hope you can see the sparkle in my <laughs> eyes every time you picked it. Like, oh, good, these boys aren't ready. <laughs> Three, two, one. Wowza. <laughs> oh, oh no. Wait. Oh, I was hoping we'd all pick Battle Royals. That would have been mint. <laughs> Sorry, the Pizza Hut Battle <laughs> That's what it is! Hey, Pete, tell us about the Pizza Hut Battle Royal. So this is a celebration to The Rock. Who wasn't there? The Rock famously owning Pizza Hut. <laughs> and was sponsored by Pizza Hut. Do you remember who won? Was it the Street Profits? I'm pretty certain. Don't quote me on this. I think it might have been Omos. Winner of the Battle Royal was... Nope, Omos. How many eliminations? It was Omos. It was the Rock 25th Anniversary Battle Royal 25-man dual brand Battle Royal. Yep. That's exactly what it's called. That's a mouthful, like Which pizza. <laughs> pizza Hut. <laughs> it's the Pizza Hut Battle Royal. Omos won. And it was a celebration to the rock who was not there. This was cat. Hey, I don't man, the immunity that. battle royal. Oh yeah, I picked the immunity battle royal, mm. right? Because test wins. That's you know cool. He does the the crossroads better than anyone. Nice. He eliminates Billy Gunn, which made me sad because I love <laughs> Billy Gunn. Mm. Name someone else in the match. Uh, Raven. <laughs> of course you'd say Raven. You know what? I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Was anyone going to win in this match? Like, the match starts and you're like, who's going to win? I don't know. Not because it's going to be so competitive. It's because who cares? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I hate this. Uh -huh. Randy! <laughs> How dare you? Uh-huh. How dare you put this on pay-per-view mm -hmm. in the main event? This is in the middle of the Daniel Bryan story. Mm. Well. This, is, this is what they thought the fans wanted. How dare you put this on pay -per I paid money. I didn't. Ladies and gentlemen... We got him. But I could have paid money. Figuratively Whoa. paid money. For f Big Show in 2013 going for the world title. Imagine how dare you? Imagine dividing across the pay-per-view by the number of matches and going, this is how much I paid for Randy <laughs> and the Big Show. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh. What's up here now? Yeah. Ooh, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Bastion Booker's in the match. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The best worker here is Bam Bam Bigelow. Poor Bam Bam. I love Bam Bam, and he's just in this nonsense match. This has a 0.81 rating on Cage Match. Wow. Wow. A 0.81. That's dreadful. That's it's... like 0.2 per doink, and then <laughs> 0.01 for Bigelow. Poor 
Poor Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, Bish off Teddy Long. We, we, already, we already spoke about it, but goddamn, it's not very good, is it? Uh oh, stinky. It's, uh, yeah, it's just it's just two GMs not having a very good match for way too long. This match is, if no one remembers, and how can you forget this unforgettable mm. gem? For a minute and a half, Big Show choke slams three people. He choke slams and pins Midian so quickly that the timekeeper forgets to ring the bell for that elimination, but does it for all the others. Nice. And boss man, he doesn't get choke slammed and pinned. He runs away. He <laughs> bravely he runs away from the big show. He was scared. He Who was scared. Who da man? Who da man? I was. I was How very dare you? Was, honestly, <laughs> I not doing that much. Three, two, one. Wowzers. Oh! oh! You know, everything you said earlier about oh, this. More clowns. <laughs> more clowns. He hates clowns. Uh, everything you said earlier about this, but more. <laughs> f off. Oh. What are you playing at? <laughs> Very dare How you. dare you? This match was butt ass. It ended with the authority coming out because the whole. It, you know how this match is, is bad? Even the video package for it is bad. <laughs> That's how bad this oh. match is. Why do you hate all the wrestling I like? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> right. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, and I, the thing that made me laugh the most is that I was trying really hard to write this down quickly, and I decided to spell out Jacqueline in full. <laughs> <laughs> I could have just put Jackie. Jackie. But basically, right, I implore, you will appreciate, I implore anyone who hasn't seen this match, seek it out and watch it. I think it was 1999. Yeah. Everything in the match is garbage, but my favorite moment is when so, someone tags in Luna. I think it's... I don't remember who's on the teams now. And they go to DDT, the double DDT on Tori. Mm -hmm. And I think it's Jacqueline. And Jacqueline and Tori just go straight into the double DDT. Like, mm -hmm. but Luna doesn't move. So it's not a double DDT, it's <laughs> just a single. And Luna just smirks like, well, I f that up. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I died laughing, but the rest of the match I had to watch and I hate that. Look. <laughs> what have you got against clowns? Well, I would have been nine years old when mm -hmm. this was on. Yeah. I would have been too old for this. It's Jerry, it's Doink, and little people. And they've all got comedy names, and it's bad, and they should be ashamed of themselves. Can you name the little Doinks? I can, because I've got it here. It Without is... cheating. No, because it is <laughs> Doink, Doink, Pink, and Wink. And then obviously on the royal family, it is Jerry Lawler, Queasy, and Sleazy. And Cheesy. I hate everything you just said. <laughs> yeah, yep. that's not... It's not very good. Yeah. That really, this should be number one. Mm -hmm. But I have something else at number one. Interesting. Oh. Three, two, one. Hey, <laughs> correctly named. With Palmer oh, Cannon. Nice. Do you yeah, not yeah, remember yeah. network executive Palmer, Palmer, Palmer Cannon? Cannon? He's very so good. integral, yeah. integral to that match. Yeah. Nice. Luke. <laughs> I would have been one year old when this match aired, and that would have been too old for this <laughs> match. Because what the f are they playing at? <laughs> I watched it because I knew that this match was infamous, but I had never seen it. So in the interest of this, I went to go and watch it. I watched it on triple speed, and it was too f***ing long still. Ooh. It is rough, and none of it's funny. F***ing terrible. You downplayed how bad this is. This <laughs> match Sucks. You downplayed how is, is this bad. again this, Kurt Angle, this Triple is, H? This is the Triple the H show. Triple H with the Triple he Cross. Was not an active wrestler. Yep. It's just Triple H pinning all your faves, Triple H being over. Do you know the thing that really f me off about this match? Mm -hmm. And it really wound me up at the time, and it winds me up to this day. More than having to watch it. Everyone else is in dorky red and blue t shirts. Uh. Apart from Triple H is in his own merchandise because uh, he's the only one who's allowed to be cool. He's the king of kings. I hated it so, so much. On your knees, dog. It achieves <laughs> nothing. And it, oh, it set out to do so little and achieved less. Yeah. And I hated it, hated it, hated it. It's worse than that one, Pete. Are you I, sure you don't like don't it a little bit? There's a lot of passion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. Have you seen this one? <laughs> it's really, really <laughs> great. So we're changing things up a little bit for TLC because normally that would be the end of the episode. Not so this time, because going forward, we have a leaderboard. So what we've done is we toted up the points for each of our entries. Our lovely editor, Adam, production hand, Adam, oh, uh, the Adam, has totaled up all of the points for it. So all of our number 10 entries have received one point. All of our number nine entries, two points, eight, three points, etc. I may be right. I may be wrong. So then we've got to the end and we can have a definitive worst Survivor Series match ever. Can I say, I really like that system. So in third, I've been handed this sheet of paper with the results. I'm not gonna show it because it's a little bit see-through at the bottom. <laughs> in joint third place, 
with 16 points overall. The men's tag from 2017. Should have been more. And Randy and Big Show. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, okay, I hate both of those matches. Yeah, uh, they're pretty bad. I That's... love that I picked neither of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all me and Big. I didn't need to be here today. <laughs> In second, the royal family versus Clowns R Us with 19 points. I feel like I know what's number one. <laughs> and yeah. in number one with 22 points, it is Teddy Long versus Eric yeah! Bischoff. Oh, guys. I thought it was going to be Baron Corbin versus The Miz. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Amazing. Those are the worst Survivor Series matches of all time. Do you disagree? Let us know in the comments. And why not check out next week's episode, which is over on Patreon right now at patreon.com forward slash Russell Talk, where we will be going through, it's going to be me, Liam, and Tempest, and we're going to be going through the best pay-per-view opening matches of all time. That one will be way more positive. So join us for that one next week. We'll see you guys then. Jam that jam. Jam that jam. Jam that jam. He said it. Hey, look. Ooh. It's Becky Lynch. She's it's back. It's Becky Lynch. <laughs> <laughs> it's also me praising something from Hell in a Cell 2019. That never Whoa. happens. Yeah, that's crazy. It feels against the rules. Mm. This match is really good. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's them doing the, the first women's Hell in a Cell match again because they f***ed it up the first time. <laughs>